Riccardo Lucarelli. They're serving pretty well. France has been passing all right, but offensively, they just can't seem to get it going right here. That ball by Irvin Ngapeth off the block and out of bounds. Ngapeth has had a wonderful tournament. He absolutely shredded Germany the opening night of the third round that uh, catapulted France over that spot from Jiba, one of the all-time great players, not only for Brazil, but in the game in the last 25 years. France has got to put these kind of balls away. LaRue was very late out of the middle. No threat there. Terrible set by Murillo, but what a shot. Wallace is such an interesting player. The perfect set, in general terms, is about oh, two feet off the net. But for Wallace, he wants the ball right on top of the net. He's a very vertical jumper. I still say Murillo made a mistake there, but Wallace bailed him out. Big lead here for Brazil in the opening set. Nice play by Murillo getting into position. This is what France does, and that ball is stuffed. Boy, that's not a smart swing by Ngapeth at all. Yeah, Laurent Tilly needs a timeout. Ngapeth should have never swung at CA, is off to a terrible start, as is France. He's taken five swings, he's been blocked three times, and hit one ball out of bounds. Ball deflected over the top of Satkamp. Footwork, eye work, absolutely key for a middle blocker, and Sadao's foundation is not stable right now. Wallace, change of pace. Good swing by Ngapeth, but no touches called, but we're going to have our first challenge of this semifinal Saturday. Two teams have two challenges apiece. You can challenge a touch on the block, net touch at the top of the tape, center line violation, three meter line violation, foot fault violation. Simone Santi, the second referee from Italy, now currently taking a look at the replay monitor, and there was a touch. So good use, let's take another look. There it is, right off the inside. Here's the setter, and again, the coach's son. Two coaches' son pairs in this match. And got path off of Wallace out of bounds. Laurent Tilly and his son Kevin, the starting outside attacker, number seven in blue. And Bruno, the captain, two time Olympic timeout, eight to four. The second technical timeout, 16 9. Irvin Ngapeth has started to work his way into this match a little bit, but he needs some help working his way in indeed. Big ace for Irvin Ngapeth. That's his 14th ace so far in these. Hit a ball really hard with good true top spin. And if you hit it to somebody, making Murillo move once again, you got to make receivers move. And Irvin Ngapeth is trying to get France back in this set. Maybe it's too late. Most likely, it's too late. Brazil still with a four-point advantage, but now, importantly, they're on top 9-6 here in the second. Back quick again, and Gapeth with the block. This ball's got to come. Into the middle to LaRue, into the deep cross-court corner. Nice wrist away out of the middle by the big middle blocker. And now France leading 10 to 6. And yeah, good response by France. And Brazil has to call a timeout. Talented player. They need him right away. And Gapet high off the late blocker and out of bounds. Really good swing by Ngapeth and smart. Lucas Sotkamp, the middle blocker for Brazil, was late. And so Ngapeth just went right after him and off the block deflection. Here's Legoff. France back on top by two. Block, defense, and through the block and down. Back-to-back -back points for France.
Super block that time. And then Kevin Tilly overhand right to the three meter line, which is good enough. You don't have to pass that ball right on top of the tape. Lagoff again. And they are doing a better job of keeping the ball off of Murillo. Another good soft block. And Gopet again. Timeout Brazil. To back aces for Lipe. Oh, and Gopeth off the block and out of bounds. How clever is that? That was a tasty swing. This is so smart. Out of system. The worst thing that happens is the ball is up into the block and Fran. Smart shot by Ngapeth, getting, giving France another swing. And he scores. After a slow start, Irvin Ngapeth has been tremendous. He was only three for eight in the opening set. Away from me, but right in front of the French bench. And that ball tipped off the block and out of bounds. Boy, that was, that was very close. See, unlike other sports that other ball sports that use replay bait. Great pass by Gravinikov. What a pass by the Libero. That's what made the play possible. Yeah, great. Absolutely show me the pass. Without that pass, France doesn't score. And an easy first ball side out. Here's Bruno. Off the block by Irvin Ngapet. They have Benjamin Taniuti, the setter for France. He's got to he's got to stay aggressive because Lagarde. They were with Iran, Belgium, the United States. It was clearly the toughest group. A little bit of mistiming, but Irvin Ngapeth off the block and out of bounds. Just been handed the statistics, and I'll get you the leading scores through three sets here in just a moment as we're underway. Ngapeth off the block and out of bounds, tied at six. And Gapeth. He's been great. I can say it now, it's in the fifth set. Irvin and Gapeth has been absolutely great so far in this match. He plays such a big role for France. And right now, they need a miracle. Rilo with a pass and Vizzotto, LaRue. France is going to get a swing and they get it. Beautiful dig by the long armed Kevin LaRue, and now Brazil will call timeout. Go, match point number three. To Vizzotto, and there it is, Brazil's going to the finals again.